First Alert 4 starts now. A solemn procession for a St. Louis Metropolitan Police officer killed in the line of duty. Officer David Lee died this morning after being struck by a car on Interstate 70. We thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Justin Andrews. This is a tragic day for St. Louis police as men and women in blue mourn one of their own. Tonight, we have live team coverage. Alexis Zotos is standing by downtown at St. Louis Police Headquarters and Shoshana Stahl live at the North Patrol Division. Let's get downtown first, though, to Alexis, where she's learning new details on this deadly crash. Alexis. Justin, a really tough day here at St. Louis Police Headquarters and across the city of St. Louis. 44-year-old Officer David Lee went to work today to do a job he has been doing for nearly two decades, and he will never return home. St. Louis City officers and staff lined up outside of police headquarters Sunday afternoon as a procession for Officer David Lee made its way down Olive. Officer Lee was 44 years old and an 18-year veteran of SLMPD. Sunday morning, he responded to Interstate 70 near Grand for a traffic crash. Earlier this morning, one of our officers was uh, responding to an accident on I-70 near Grand. That officer was in the process of uh, establishing um, uh, flares and trying to set up uh, uh, some type of uh, system to allow people to know that uh, there was an active scene at that location. Just before 9 a.m., an officer in need of aid call went out. Police say Officer Lee was hit by another driver. Video captured by our crews on the scene shows a large police presence on the highway as all lanes were closed. MoDOT cameras show another perspective of the scene. We do know that a uh, the driver that ended up hitting um, our officer stayed at the scene. He has been detained uh, while, while we investigate. Officer Lee was rushed to SLU Hospital with critical injuries. He died at the hospital. His body was brought back to police headquarters. After nearly two decades at St. Louis Police Department, Officer Lee touched many lives. When you see him, he was just a nice guy. So many emotions here tonight and things that we will be hearing from those that knew him. We are working right now to learn more about the driver who hit and killed Officer Lee. There is a press conference here at 7 p.m. tonight with the police chief, the mayor, and the circuit attorney. We'll be sure to bring that to you live with new information tonight on First Alert 4 at 10. Reporting live in downtown, Alexis Otto's First Alert 4. And Alexis, we know you'll have the latest. Thanks so much. Also, Alexis, as you know, St. Louis police are inviting the public to share their condolences for Officer Lee. Our Shoshana Stahl picks up our live team coverage from there. She's at the North Patrol Division. Shoshana, what are you seeing there? Justin, here at the North Patrol Division, there's a car set up with a memorial to Officer Lee here right now. We just saw a few people showing up for the first time since SLMPD, inviting the community to come here and mourn the loss of that officer. We've heard condolences from across the metro area all day today in honor of Officer Lee. St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones asking the entire St. Louis community to come together and honor and remember him, saying, quote, through his work and passing, he has left an indelible mark on the St. Louis Louis Metropolitan Commun Police Department and our city as a whole. The mayor then goes on to say our proud city must now come together to comfort Officer Lee's family, friends, colleagues and our entire community. The St. Louis Police Officers Association saying it's devastated by the loss of Officer Lee, saying, quote, we send our deepest condolences to his family, friends and to all his SLMPD brothers and sisters in blue. Our hearts are broken and ask for prayers during this difficult time. Officer Mr. Lee does leave behind a wife and children. We know Backstoppers is getting involved now to provide assistance for Officer Lee's family, saying that he will be remembered as a true hero in the St. Louis community. Live in North City, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. Thoughts and prayers are there for Officer Lee. Thanks so much, Shoshana. You can find the latest and any new developments in the death of Officer Lee on the First Alert 4 news app and at firstalert4.com.